Well, hello there. Welcome or welcome back. My name is Julie and this is my journal. So, uh, what are we talking about today in today's journal? Well, I had a choice between two things. <laughs> Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay, I know which one I'm going to go with. My house might never be perfectly clean. And especially while I still have a family living in it. My family. It is highly likely just because, well, for a million reasons. A, we like to do other things. B, I'm crunchy and broken. And C, we live in a small house. Well, relatively small house this house is not going to be perfectly clean. There was a time in my life when I had to have my house clean or apartment or wherever I was living, like obsessively so. Then I started having my own kids and things changed. And I came to realize that was not going to be my reality. I know that some people are able to keep a very tidy, very neat house while raising kids. But I've come to realize that is not the case for me. And so then the thoughts come into your head, well, when they grow up, when they move out, blah, 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 then it'll be clean, then it'll be clean. And then of course you go through the, but then my kids will be gone and all those, you know, kinds of thoughts. And so you resign yourself to the fact that, yeah, it's probably not going to be clean while my kids are here. And that's okay because we are going to spend time together and we are going to do things together and we're going to make memories. And so it does not need to be perfectly clean. But then at the same time, you're also going insane from the messes. <laughs> and then no one has clean clothes or dishes to eat off of. The balance. But then I also remind myself it's summertime and when it is not summertime, oh, and my foot is still, <sighs> still messed up. When it is not summertime, my darlings will not be home during the day and contributing to the mess during the day and uh, I will not be refereeing during the day. And so there's a strong possibility if my foot is better, no, no, oh God, when, when my foot is better, which will also be during the time that the kids are back at school, I just might get caught up on some things. This is me thinking it out as I do on my journal, in my journal, on my journal, here. But what if, what if when they go back to school and my foot is better, the house is still not all tidy and clean until they like literally grow up and move out? Can I live with that? Is that okay? Yeah, I think it is because it has to be. Friends, uh, as a woman, a mother, a wife, there are so many expectations. And I think a lot of you know what I'm talking about. You need to be attentive and involved in raising your kids while also having dinner on the table every night and dusting and being a sex goddess and, you know, all this other shit. Or at least like, oh, and never aging. Don't age. And always have energy and, and nurture creativity in your children and um, make every moment matter and uh, oh the expectations that society puts on us but also that we put on ourselves so like i'm here i'm looking around and i'm seeing the mess and i'm saying julie what are you doing why is your house a disaster then part of my mind says well because there's this 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 and i shouldn't be the one that has to do all of it anyway and that's true but that doesn't change the fact that the mess is there. So then you get everyone else to help more with it and, and that does help. But then even when, sorry, I'm thinking out loud and this is all just coming out and this is what happens here in my journal videos. Thanks for bearing with. But even when the, do, the kids do help out and you're not doing all of it, you still might not have the energy to make all the magical moments with them during the time that you would have otherwise been spending to clean. And so you feel like a failure in so many ways. Guys, sometimes I feel like a failure. Is that what I'm trying to get to? Yes, I think so. I am facing reality right now, the reality that 
So many things have not gone the way that I had planned, hoped, expected, anticipated, dreamed. And that is weighing on me just as much as the extra weight that I am carrying, which was also not part of the plan. <sighs> the kids, so one of them is of course still in a residential treatment facility and the other two are off with my husband hiking. I would love to be hiking, I would love to. And here I am alone. And so the thought starts hitting you, this could be my life. Like this being alone, this quietness, this solitude could be my life and eventually probably will be my life. I mean, most likely I will go before James. Come on, this is a burning down circus that I live in. So I highly doubt I will outlive my husband, but you never know. All right. You never know. And even so, even if uh, we both grow old together, He'll be doing his own thing, I'll be doing my own thing, we'll do things together, but you know, we have different interests and stuff. So there's a very strong possibility that this is what my life is gonna be like, you know, 10 years from now. Oh my God, yeah, 10 years from now, because my youngest is 10 years old, good Lord. And 10 years goes by so fast anymore. Oh my God, it goes by so fast. And so I'm thinking all these things about, oh, being a failure and your house isn't clean enough and, you know, the, the laundry's not all cut up and there's all these projects that need to be finished or done or whatever. And then also it's hitting me that, well, I'll be able to do that, like, when my kids are grown up, but then, of course, I'm going to feel like this all alone. And then not only that, I'm in a burning down circus of a body, so even when they are all grown up and moved out, I might not physically be able to do all the stuff that I thought I was going to do once they were moved out. Guys, I'm in a swirling, twirling place. <laughs> if you couldn't tell, my mind is running amok with thoughts, feelings, experiences, situations, thinking ahead and thinking of the past. And what is the point of it all? I don't know. I just know this is my journal and these are my thoughts. And I have a pretty strong feeling I'm not the only one that has these thoughts, you know, where you think about what you should have done, could have done, would have done, the things you had planned, the things you anticipated and hoped for, for yourself, for your life. The fact that you're never going to be everything you hoped you would be, and then trying to make peace with that. You might not ever be the perfect partner, the perfect parent, the perfect whatever, neurobiologist, or whatever. <sighs> and finding a way to accept that and be okay with that, to find peace, to prioritize and to do the things that need doing that absolutely have to be done because we do need dishes to eat off and we do need clothes to wear. So those things do have to happen. But you know, Fixing the hole in the wall in the downstairs bathroom is not a top priority. But would I really like to have it done? Yes, I really would like to have it done. I really would. It'd be nice. It'd be great. Along with 25 other projects. I need to find some peace with this situation. So I am watching Jaws. And before that, I was watching The Shallows while doing a, an emergency prep live stream, which I'm going to be doing a lot of. It's kind of what I'm doing lately since I still can't go back to dumpster diving yet. It's my foot. Uh, and I'm trying to harness all of these thoughts and these worries that are going on in my head and do something positive with the energy. <sighs> and it's stuff that needs to be done anyway. And while I'm gathering things up for these emergency kits, hey, maybe I'll actually like get some cleaning done too and maybe even finish some projects along the way. You never know. It can happen. I can be optimistic when I've had enough coffee and sleep. I can be optimistic about my chances. <laughs> I am so ready for my foot to be better. Honestly, that's where a lot of this, that's what a lot of this comes down to is this goddamn foot and the fact that it has messed up so many things 
this summer of the way I thought things were gonna go, the way I had planned for them to go. It comes down to the foot. Ugh. And trying to find a little bit of peace, a little bit of sanity. And, and that is why the shark movies help. Because at least I am not being chased by a shark. <laughs> at least I am not stranded on some reef all alone with a shark that is obsessed with me. I mean, at least there's that. That is why I watch horror movies, zombies, all of this, because at least it's not that. Yeah, I'm going insane because of my goddamn foot and how it is keeping me from doing the 900 other things that I would like to do or need to do or want to do or whatever. It can make you crazy. Absolutely. Ah, but at least there's not a knife wielding maniac who cannot die that is chasing after me. <laughs> oh, and that also explains the earrings and the ring and the black nails because uh, because sometimes you've got to find whatever it is that brings you peace. And that's different for everyone. We all have our own things. Some it's crafting, some it's praying, some it's uh, breaking things. No judgment, whatever brings you peace. For me, it's scary movies and wearing Halloween stuff at any time of year. Oh, and my Nightmare Before Christmas necklace that one of our fabulous viewers sent us. <sighs> and it's also emergency prepping. That brings me some peace too. Feeling proactive, feeling like I'm doing something, feeling like I can control this one little tiny part of this disaster that is my life in the year 2022. This has been my journal. I have been Julie. You have been wonderfully patient. And I appreciate you for being along while I think out loud and try to sort out my feelings and emotions and concerns and madness. I appreciate you very much. You are good enough. You are enough. You don't need to be perfect. You just need to be you. Whoever that is, be the best you that you possibly can. And even then, it's okay if there's days that you're not. That's okay. I like you anyway. Especially, especially, especially if you're actually still watching this. Then I like you even more. We'll see you soon.